Hi, you guys. Happy Tuesday to you guys. This is Prophetess Afil Sabrina Acapo and wanted to bring you a quick prophetic word that the Holy Spirit spoke into my spirit on today. And as with any prophetic word, <clears throat> excuse me, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the spirit to affirm and confirm that perhaps this prophetic word is for you. Holy Spirit, I invite you in to take full charge, to take full control, to take full access. I decrease as you increase. Allow me to bring forth your word with your glory, with your power, with your grace, with your mercy, telling your story so your name can be glorified for the wedding of souls to the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, that I do pray. Amen, 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 and amen. Tidy, you guys, of this prophetic word is don't give up. You are birthing out now. Don't give up. You are birthing out now. Let me jump off into this word, you guys. So, you guys, I was actually in deep intercessory prayers earlier today. And upon opening my eyes, after finishing, the time was actually 8.22 a.m. And the Lord gave me the scripture of Romans 8.22. For we know that all creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time. And I heard the Holy Spirit speaking and auctioning in my spirit. Don't give up. You are birthing out now. That the pain that you have been going through is your push your birth through and you are in labor getting ready to deliver that baby along with your blessings this is the opening to your new bundle of joy ushering you into your new beginnings your new chapters and your new and next levels that you're birthing out into your promise and it's still time the Lord is saying in this month you are on the brink and you are closer than you think the isolation was your time of preparation I'm going to say that again the isolation was your time of preparation for your next phase John 16 and 21 a woman giving birth to a child has pain because her time has come when her baby is born she forgets the anguish because of her joy that a child is born into the world you are in You are in your hour of travail and in the position of naming your baby. And the Lord is further said a new birth. Look at Sarah. She laughed as though her birthing. She laughed through her birthing because of her age. She felt like it was impossible and that it could never come to pass. But the Lord had a different story. The Lord does the possible. And that possibility that the Lord had done caused her to birth forth a son. Genesis 21 and 6, Sarah said, God has made me laugh. All who hear about our good news will laugh with me. For I have given birth to a son by him in his old age. Don't abort your baby, the Holy Spirit is saying, nor forfeit your blessings. You have to go through the process. You have to pass the test and go through the process. The sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared to the glory that is about to be revealed. The Lord is saying, don't doubt him in that. It won't be like in times past, but your baby is coming out. And that these blessings are going to be everlasting. And I just heard the Lord say a new heaven and a new hurt, a new heaven and a new earth. You have reached that appointed time of your birth, that right time and your expected time. And this is your moment. Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. 
there is a season, a time appointed for everything and a time for every delight and event or purpose under heaven. And the other scripture that he gave me relation in relation to this word is 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, that is grafted in, joined to him by faith in him as savior. He is a new creature, reborn and renewed by the Holy Spirit. The old things, the previous moral and spiritual conditions have passed away. Behold, new things have come because spiritual awakening brings a new life. The Lord is saying, don't throw in the towel because he's going to make it worth your while. Don't give up because you are birthing out that new birth. You are birthing out that breakthrough. You are birthing out your blessings. The Lord is saying it's still time left in this month and that you are birthing out now. Hebrews 11 and 1, I hear it. Now faith, it is the substance of things hoped for. It is the evidence of things that you cannot see. The Lord is saying, I hear surprises and I hear rewards. Because you have stuck with him, you have stayed the course, and you have stayed with him on one accord. Don't give up. You are birthing out now. The Lord is making it worth your while. That said, the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I just heard the Holy Spirit say, you will smile. He's going to make you laugh. He's going to give you, he's birthing you out and he's giving you that good medicine. That said, the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like share and subscribe you guys don't forget to hit that noti bell where you guys can be notified each time i upload a video welcome 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 to all of my new subscribers you guys welcome to the fam i pray that this word has really edified exhortated and exalted your life in such a phenomenal way by the special grace and mercy of god and you were able to get that revelation and that understanding of what the lord is saying because the lord is saying he ain't playing what you have experienced in times past, the Lord has said, it will not be any more repeats. The Lord has said, not this time, because he has placed his righteous right hands on it. He has placed his righteous right hands on you, and you are coming through, shining through the light of his glory to tell your new chapters, your new endeavors, your next level, your testimony, and your new story. Don't give up. You're birthing out now. The Lord is making it worth your wow. That said, the spirit of the living God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you so much for soaring into this ministry. Thank you so much for the super thanks. I love you guys. I am always praying for you guys. Don't forget to go over to Amazon.com and get a copy of my new book of the next level of the next level dimensionally of prophetic ministry. That is practicalities of encouragement and edification. You can also get your copy from me signed. I can email you the details. I'm going to place it in the community on today. And it is also the information in my about section as well. And revealing the true you, life trials and triumphs is available as well at amazon.com. Get your copy today. Thank you so much for your continuous support of purchasing for the ones who have purchased their copies. You guys have been supporting me tremendously and I thank you so much. Those copies for the ones who have not received their copies, get your copy, turn your pain and to gain your mess into a message and your trials into triumphs in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Or you can get your signed copy from me as well. Producing fruitfulness and multiplication, replenishing and subduing in the earth realm. Get your copy that's available today at amazon.com or you can get your signed copy from me and I will place that email where you can email me for the details and can get your book signed and shipped out quickly to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Once again, I love you guys. Don't give up on your visions and your provisions and your dreams because the Lord is wanting you to know that you're about to get see something that you have never seen you are birthing out now and it's still days left in this month 
I just heard the Lord say in just a few days, you're going to see him make a way out of no way for you. You're going to get surprise and endless possibilities along with rewards because you have stayed the course. You have stayed in line. You have stayed inclined. You have stayed in tune and with him on one accord. Don't give up. You are birthing out now. That said, the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I love you guys. Once again, I am always praying for you guys. May the Lord richly bless each and every one of you guys and see you guys all through to the greatness of success of God's best in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I love you guys. Once again, we, we will most certainly talk on the mix. God bless you. Bye-bye.